I pulled these out of the acid. This one is uh, the first batch of sulfuric acid. That's why it's marked S1. This one is marked S2. That's the second batch. And this is the one that was in the vinegar. Now I know when I put them back in, I'm going to lose those designations. Not thinking it was going to take this long, I didn't plan on this eventuality. So I have to do a backup plan. And my backup plan is to stamp them. So I've got S. That's a fairly good S in there. And then this one also gets an S. Yeah, that's legible. Doesn't have to be perfect. This is a throwaway thing. It's not something I'm going to use for anything. Now here's the one. So we stamp this one S1. I don't need to worry about using it later, but I do want to be able to tell what my results are. Otherwise, I wasted a whole lot of time. An S2. Okay, that's those two taken care of. I gotta get the V out of this. And here it is, right here on the edge. That's good. Put a nice little V stamp right there on the end. It's a box of stamps I got from Harbor Freight and the plastic case has deteriorated because it is cheap plastic. So I keep them in this little cardboard box and I know that I spent uh, $8.99 on them. Well, looking at the pieces, this is actually being done on Tuesday. We had the weekend off because we did Memorial Day weekend. So we've enjoyed Memorial Day weekend and did not come back to this. I pulled this out of the acid on Saturday and that was the last I looked at it. So it's managed to rust up a bit which I ex kind of expected. This is uh, S1 that has been in the acid the longest. Now I don't have a way to really check the profile on these. I mean I have a nut and I could say, well, it's looser, and it's looser in this direction than it is in that direction, because if you recall, we had it laying in the acid with the flat part down. So if it was going to be eroded, it would be eroded more on this face, because that's the flat spot, spot right there. It would be more eroded on this face of the bolt than on the sides. So it has more shake up and down than it does side to side. But that's really hard to demonstrate over a video. I was hoping to use a thread gauge, but I do not have a thread gauge for this big a thread. And my choice would be to go down to half inch, and that's possibility I might do but I think we're going to continue on with this one until I can actually see the original idea of the marker being the flats on the threads. If this is working the way I expect it to then we will see these flats become peaks, sharp edges. And if not then this experiment has proved that it doesn't work. Either way, we can continue. The other thing I'm going to do for the parts that are in sulfuric acid, I'm going to add water to the acid. I'm going to reduce the amount of acid in the concentration. 
The reason I'm going to do that is sulfuric works better with water added. I was under the understanding that this sulfuric was already pre-mixed with water, but I think it's actually straight sulfuric. Straight sulfuric doesn't have much effect on steel. You can actually store straight sulfuric in a steel tank. We used to do that at United Technologies in the anodized plant. That worked fine until the, the top of the tank was left open one night and it rained. It ate a complete line all the way around the tank right at the top level of the acid where the water laid on the acid, ate the tank completely in half. I mixed up a weaker solution of the sulfuric acid. That one's about 10% in that bottle. And you can see that it's foaming quite strongly. I have, I'll pull it out here and show you. That's the original sample that had S1 on it. When I put it in there just a few seconds ago, it was rusty. Once I mixed up that water and acid and put that piece of iron in it, that's been boiling ever since. Now the tray that's got 50-50 in it, it's not doing a whole lot. It's working, but it's not working anywhere near as fast as that jar. You can see it fuming too. That's why I do it back here in the back away from everything so that any fumes don't get in the house. Now we can see the vinegar is working on that iron bar. The 50-50% solution of sulfuric acid is working on this and it's eating all the rust off of it. just in that little bit of time. So it's much stronger and it works much faster when it has water in it. Now this bucket, I put baking soda in it. So I've got a place to neutralize things like the tongs. So now we're starting to actually move. I can see this thing happening. It's been about two and a half hours. The olive jar has been boiling steadily the whole time. And now that it looks like the sulfuric acid in the tray is starting to work too. All the rust has gone off the thing in the tray. There's none on the top. The acid has worked its way up around the top of the bolt and dissolved the whole thing. And I can see that the bolt itself is fizzing around the outside of it. So this one's boiling pretty steadily. I'm going to pick it out of there and we'll get a look at it. I want to check on it to make sure it hasn't dissolved on me. And that's baking soda and water, I remember. There's that one. There's this one. <clears throat> well, here's the one with vinegar in it. Now the rust is going on that. It's working. It's just not doing a whole lot. The only reason I'm rinsing that off is so that they're all the same. <clears throat> the olive jar stopped boiling as soon as I took the iron out so evidently it's the iron making it do it this is the one out of the tray
the edges of the threads are actually sharp. This is the one that's been boiling. That right there is the part with the flats on it. All the edges are getting sharper. I set the one that's been in the vinegar right next to it. Hard to tell any difference looking through the camera. Put this one back in the vinegar. This is S2, so it goes back in the tray. This is S1. And it goes back to boiling. I'll give it a, another hour or so. We'll come back out and check on it again. At least we're getting some action out of the thing. I was beginning to doubt if it was ever going to do anything. Turns out, if I hadn't found out about the acid and changed the mixture, probably wouldn't have. You can see this guy right here is boiling away too. Okay, we'll come back and check on them later. Now well, the tray's eating on it. All the vinegar's done is managed to take the rust off the bottom. I don't think that's going to do a whole lot. Well, that's the vinegar, as we can easily tell. This is S1. And this is S2. It's definitely smaller. That's rattling around in there. That one's smaller yet. That's the vinegar. This is the original piece of rod. I'm going to cut off a short chunk of this just so that we get a more equal comparison. should keep them from rusting. That's odorless mineral spirits. Good stuff. Well that's where we're at with the acid test up till today. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching.